How to use Zoho CRM for beginners. Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Zoho CRM as a complete beginner and get started with your CRM and actually run a successful business online. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys need to do is you're going to go to zoho.com slash CRM and it will take you right here. Zoho has a lot of different apps, but it's famous for its CRM. With Zoho CRM, you will be able to generate leads, create contacts and much much more so how to get started and how to get to your dashboard you will actually require an account so you can get a free trial as well enter your full name enter your email address you're going to enter your password uh, your phone number and then click on get started you can also sign up or sign in using your google account or your linkedin so once you have signed up for zoho.com or sign in this is where you will land now i'll show you how to use zoho crm as a complete beginner now you can see we have our home then we have the leads option we have contact account deals task meetings calls services projects and then we have these three dots that give me again the reports we have products invoices campaigns vendors cases and more so you can see there are a lot of different options and tools available within zoho crm so first of all let's go to the context right here and let's create a new contact we can actually go ahead and import our contact list as well or create a contact manually so let's create one so here we have our contact owner this is where you will select your team member or yourself moving on you have to enter the first name and this is where you will select like mr and then we have like ben then we have a vendor name uh, this is where you can actually create a new vendor as well so let's create a new vendor quickly and we will add the name here and it will be added right here now the vendor name then we have a department so you're gonna enter the department let's say they are from hr then we have a home phone we have facts that we can add uh, then we have a date of birth we have um, email we have last name right here that we have to add we have first name then we have last name so let's say their name is ben heath and then we have the lead source this is where you will select your source for your lead so i'm gonna go with a advertisement right here and then we have email email is really important then we have our title for our client that we have here for our contact then we have to enter a phone number other phone number mobile assistance type id we can add a lot of information we also have address information and a description for the contact so for now i have added some information here i'm going to click on save and a new contact will be saved so this is how you create a contact. You can see now I have a Mr. Bankit created. I can add different tags as well. I can send an email here. We can edit it out. And similarly, we have a related list. We have notes. We have attachments. We have deals, open activities, closed activities, products, cases, emails. Then we have invoices all attached to this contact right here. So you can see with Zoho CRM, we don't need any other software or any other tool to go for. We will be getting all of these different options within our contact. So let's actually go to the leads option now and let me show you how to create a lead. Again, we can import a lead as well or we can create a lead from the scratch. So I'm going to click on create a lead. Now, again, we have to select a lead owner first and then we have to enter the name. This is where you will select your contact. And then we have to enter the lead information where we will also enter our lead status. So lead status is attempted to contact. Then we have a contact in future, contacted, junk lead, lost lead, not contacted and more. So we have actually contacted this lead. So I'm going to enter right here. Then we have a lead source that we have to select. So this was from a cold call. Then we have an industry that we have to select. So this is actually in our uh, data and telecom then we have to enter the annual revenue for the lead that we are generating so it's going to be ten thousand. then we have the rating acquired active so this one is an active lead this is really important all of this information when it comes to creating a lead we also have the number of employees so there are two employees dealing with this one then we have secondary email uh, that we have to add we have the address information and we can scroll down to add the description for the lead uh, so this is how it works with a lead and at the bottom right here you are getting some quick options too we have a motivators we have sticky notes we have uh, our active reminders and then we also have recent items so anytime you want to access something you'll be able to do from here at the bottom we have chats and we have contact as well now i'm going to click on save lead and a new lead will be created on uh, my uh, you know software right here and you can see Again, with this lead now, I have all of these different options. 
Similarly, we can create accounts as well. So we can import an account or create an, a new account. We have deals. So with deals as well, again, we can import and we can create one too. We can also create tasks within our Zoho a CRM so that we will be more productive and more creative with it. We'll have access to all of these different tasks and projects. So for that, you're going to enter task owner. You can add a subject. So actually, this task is uh, actually contacting the lead. And then I can add a due date to add a deadline. We have a contact that I can select. We can add an account. We can add the status. What's the status for the uh, task? If it's in progress, if it's completed, then we have priority, repeat, and reminder too. This is how we create tasks within Zoho CRM. Moving on, we have meetings and calls. Now, this is also really important when it comes to a CRM platform. And if you want to increase your, uh, if you want to create meetings, set reminders and add inventories to the meeting, then you can create one from here. And then we have calls. So in calls, what we can do is we can actually integrate our um, phone system right here within our Zoho CRM. So this is actually really good for our customer uh, relation here, I will be able to keep track of all of these sales activity, uh, my all of the team members will be able to log every sale call by integrating once I integrate my phone system, then they'll be able to do so. So for that, you're going to click on integrate telephony and then you can uh, schedule a call as well. You'll be able to manually add calls too. So this is an important part of Zoho CRM. Uh, moving on, we have services. Uh, with services, we have a catalog that we can build. Services helps us to streamline every aspect of our service business, whether you are setting up an appointment, or you are performing your uh, services or delivering invoices, uh, you will be able to actually deal with your customers uh, very easily. So you can click on enable services and then you will be able to sell your services like a product Product with Zoho CRM. Then we have projects. Click on these three dots and we have reports, analytics, products, and more. So let's actually go to the reports. We can generate reports uh, with our Zoho CRM. All of the reports, uh, you'll be able to print out your reports and actually get your weekly and monthly reports to actually present it to your manager. If you are a manager, you can present it to the CEO. So the report option is built in. Uh, if you think you have to actually get an invoice platform to create invoices, professional invoices, you don't need to you can go to the invoice option and you'll be able to do so we also have sales order available within our Zoho CRM and then we can also create campaigns so as a complete beginner you will be amazed with all of these different tools within Zoho CRM so instead of going for different platforms instead of finding a platform for invoice instead of finding an email marketing platform um, and then finding a platform to connect your uh, phone system you can just simply go to Zoho CRM sign up and you will get all of the options um then uh, right here we can see we have our own account we have our our information and there is also an upgraded plan available on zoho crm so let me show you the pricing plan so you will have a better idea about the affordability of zoho crm so we have a 30 day free trial, no credit card required with Zoho CRM. And there is just one plan, which is the Zoho CRM plus. And the CRM plus is just $57 per user per month if built annually. And it's going to be $69 per user per month if built month to month. So you can go ahead and access the Zoho CRM plus as well, or you can actually um, uh, sign up for free too for Zoho and access all of these different features and improve your CRM and actually build a customer relation to run a successful business online. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up or leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.